Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Shepherd Pruden Memorial Library's online story time. My name is Destiny, and today we will be talking about a very interesting holiday that's happening today. Do you know what it is? Well, today is February 2nd, which means it's Groundhog's Day. This is a day where a very famous groundhog named Puxatawney Phil wakes up from hibernation and determines how long winter will last or if spring will come early. So, what is a groundhog and why do we pretend like it can predict the future? The groundhog is also known as a woodchuck or a whistle pig and is a part of a large group of ground squirrels known as marmots. They are closely related to mice, rats, and beavers. The groundhog is frequently found in North America, throughout the eastern United States, Canada, and Alaska. This custom was brought to America from Germany and England through immigration. There is no science behind a woodchuck controlling the weather, but it's fun to guess. Legend says that after a groundhog wakes from hibernation, he climbs outside to look around. If it's too sunny, the groundhog will see his shadow and get scared. That means there's six more weeks of winter. Oh no! But if there are a few clouds in the sky, the groundhog won't see his shadow and won't be afraid and will welcome spring in six weeks. Today, Mr. Phil the Groundhog saw his shadow. Do you know what that means? Yes, it's going to be cold for a little while longer. Since Puxatawney Phil saw his shadow, let's have some fun making our own shadows. What you will need is a lamp or a flashlight, your hands, and your imagination. First, turn your light on and point it at a wall. Next, we can use our hands to create shapes on the wall. See? A shadow is a dark area within a light space that's caused by something blocking the light against a surface. See? First, we're going to start easy. Let's start by putting your hands out in front of you and facing your palms towards you. Then we're going to cross our arms and fold our thumbs together. Put our, all of the rest of our fingers together. And now we've made a bird. All right, let's try to make a creepy crawly spider. We're going to move our thumbs inward and spread our fingers apart and fold them a little downwards. Now you can wiggle your fingers and it turns into a spider. All right, one more. Make sure you take, take one hand and push it away from you. And then with your other hand, make a fist, put it on its back. Then separate your fingers a little bit. Now we've made a snail. Look at him go. Did you enjoy learning how to create shadow puppets? Which one was your favorite? My favorite was the snail. Don't forget that the groundhog predicted six more weeks of winter, so be sure to wear a jacket when you go outside. Make sure to subscribe to the Shepherd Pruden Memorial Library's YouTube page, where we put out content every Wednesday. My name is Destiny, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye! How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <gasps>
much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood?